Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Mm. So today we will be going over five styles or techniques to allow us fall into the process of journaling. I believe journaling is powerful, especially when we are consistent in it. It's a lot easier to move an object that's already in motion. And when we stay journaling, stay consistent with it, we are constantly expressing ourselves, feeling, healing, releasing. And I just believe it's a beautiful practice. Love my journal, need a new one. I think uh, I actually thought that the day I was like, man, we should design some journals and put them out. Have some like in hindsight affirmations and all that. Yeah, it'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. So my first technique is morning pages. Now morning pages have changed my life. I got the idea from Julia Cameron in the book, The Artist's Way. Now this book transformed my life at a point when I wasn't feeling creative. It gave me so many good ideas to get back in motion. But the beautiful thing is Julia says every single morning, open up your open up your journal put yourself in a nice environment you understand have some tea light an incense or whatever you feel like you need to do you know i would go to the beach because at the time i lived like right beside the beach beautiful and just write and it doesn't have to make sense whatever comes to your head first thing in the morning you just write and you get everything out on paper three pages and some days it's gonna look like complete gibberish like it's not even gonna make sense you're gonna be like I'm a crazy person. Other days you'll be like, wow, that's kind of brilliant. That's a really good idea. New ideas will come. Other days you'll be like, wow, I didn't realize I was still holding on to that. I didn't realize I missed them or I didn't realize how much anger I was holding on to. It's very revealing, you understand? I did this and it transformed my life. I was in a space where I was kind of in a toxic relationship at the time and I was kind of unsure of my next step and what I wanted to do. And this allowed me to become clear on my vision and know what I was feeling so I could heal it. What we don't allow ourselves to feel, we can't heal. So what we allow ourselves to feel, then we can heal. And Morning Pages is perfect for combating that procrastination because there's no pressure. It doesn't have to make sense. You don't have to have a purpose or an intention. We are just writing first thing in the morning. It's got to be first thing, you understand? Just get all of that out onto paper and you will find that you are less anxious. You have more of a sound mind because all this stuff's not up there, right? And you're grounded and balanced. Our second style of journaling will be writing to our past self and our future self. Now, this one is cool. This one you can write to your past self and get excited be like you know all those things you were worried about <laughs> pointless everything's working out just fine you're smarter you've grown you understand forgive forgive your past self for those mistakes and say those are actually vital we have learned from those mistakes and we transformed our life and don't worry about a thing the future oh, the future is looking so good and this is very healing because a lot of us hold on to regrets. We hold on to our past. And this is an opportunity to heal that right there. And just get excited about the growth. Like we have all come so far. Yes, we have many places to go. And I'm sure we all have a far walk to go. Yes. But we've come so far. There's so many hurdles we have overcome. And we need to, we need to congratulate ourselves for that. You understand? And congratulate our past self for staying resilient because look at us now. And then, you know, we could write to our future self. And I have fun with my future self. I'd be like, yo, don't worry. I'm doing the work now. We are healing right now so we can step into our whole self in the future. You know, we are learning this so we can express ourselves to the fullest abilities and you know, we're saving our money so we can buy our dream house. And then I ask my future self, like, what is it like? What is it like out there? Did the aliens come back yet? I love it. I don't know. I've always had like a fast face with aliens. I'd be like, yo, did, did, did Jesus, did Yeshua come back yet? Like, did he come back? And I'll just have fun. But like, what, what does the future look like? You understand? And I'll also just thank my future self. You understand? For being resilient, for being strong. And this allows us to take our worries and our regrets from the past, take our worries and the uncertainty about the future, take all of them and bring them to the present moment, you understand? And apply all our energy right here, you understand? Because when we are here, that's when our presence has purpose. And that's the most powerful place we can be is in the now. Our third style of journaling, when we wanna like kinda 
detached from heavy, heavy emotions, but we still want to be journaling about our lifestyle, a food journal. Food journals are great because it's lighthearted. You know, we don't have to go too deep within ourselves. Basically, a food journal is document what you're eating every day, document how you felt, and document the times you ate it. Why is this important? It's really good because you get to monitor your energy levels. And over time, you get, you get to actually form a good diet for yourself, a good lifestyle for yourself, because now you have all this information of, oh yeah, you know what? Like when I ate those foods at 8 p.m., it always just felt made me feel real tired. And then I woke up sluggish. But look at these days. Like, look how I felt that day. I felt amazing. Like my, my energy levels were so good. I was full of joy. And look at my lifestyle. Oh, you know, I did a workout in the morning. I stopped eating at 7 p.m. I was eating lots of fresh foods, lots of raw vegetables. Amazing. Anytime I, I did a food journal for quite some time. And then anytime I found myself in a hard place, I'll go back in my food journal and see like when I was like at my best. And I'd always look at my habits and how I was sleeping, how I was eating and how I was feeling. And then I could look back in the present moment and see where I'm slipping. You understand? I always say, if you are struggling in life, <laughs> like if you're not, you know, if you're not, if you've fallen off your routines and like you're not, you know, mindful or grounded or balanced and you're very anxious. And if you live on your own, look in your fridge. Guaranteed your fridge is probably a mess. You understand? There's probably things in the back that have to be thrown out. Like I've noticed that for myself. So when I find myself falling off in life and I go back in my food journal, I take note of what my lifestyle was like and the foods I was eating because I always find um, the right foods and just like what I'm putting into my body will bring me back to my center. You understand the basics, right? Starting at the root. How are we sleeping? How are we eating? Right? How are we moving our body? Right? What are our, what are our mindful practices? And a food journal is great for that. Now our fourth style of journaling. Now this one is, this one is deep. You know, this one can bring out the tears. Our deep letters, you understand? Those those things we've wanted to say to people, it could be family members, it could be a last love of ours, it could be somebody we love that we haven't told yet. It could be somebody we lost, it could be a friend. But those conversations that are hard to have and we haven't had them yet, but we have them in our journal. We write a letter to that person, you understand? And it feels as if you are really having that conversation with them and you can feel it and you can heal it. I've done this before and it's done wonders because over time you will actually muster up the courage to have these conversations. Sometimes we want to have conversations with people and we're too much in our head about it. We're thinking about it. We're thinking about it. We're, what are they going to say? How are they going to feel? And then we talk ourselves out of it. So doing this allows us to take an easier step, an easier journey into having those conversations or we don't ever have to have the conversation. Maybe that's where it stops. It's up to you. But these deep letters are good because you will realize, man, I've been holding on to a lot of emotions for this person. And that has been holding me back. That has been creating an energy blockage. I call them soul blocks. You understand? When we're not dealing with the things that we are feeling, it does create blockages, it can create an anxious feeling and prevent us from developing healthy relationships in the future because we are holding on to old bonds. So writing letters to the ones we love can be so nourishing. And again, this will help you with your communication skills. You may have conversations and communicate with your relationships that will transform both of y'all lives. You understand? It's amazing. And our last style of journaling will be different mediums. You don't always have to. We don't always have to write paper and pen, paper and pencil. Grab a microphone. Grab a video camera, grab your phone, audio journaling, video journaling, right? So you can actually hear your tonality, hear your emotions. Sometimes you have so many things going on in our mind. It's a lot faster just to speak. You know, I have audio journals from back in the day. And when I go back, I love hearing what my voice was like at the time and seeing the maturity in my voice over time and, and I hear, listening to how excited I was to that day or I was really going through it and just listening to the emotion or getting on camera and having that video journal and being able to look back on it and be like, wow, seeing the growth and just expressing yourself in those ways. And for content creators, these can become content. This can become great ideas, you understand? Because content should be a reflection of our spirit. That's what I believe. And this is one of the best ways is to get your true feelings out, ideas out, 
And you don't have to share it with anybody, but if you want to, you can create something out of it. Like my podcast is kind of like an audio journal, to be honest, that's really how it started. It was, you know, 15 minute episodes and what I was thinking for the day. These styles of journaling from, you know, morning pages to writing to our future and past self, to a food journal, to the letters, to important people that we want to have conversations with and to audio journaling and video journaling, with these, you will never run short of on ideas of what to journal about. When you open this up to journal, you'll have something to do. And you can also do a gratitude journal, right? That's like one of the easiest ones to say what you're grateful for. We all have things to be grateful for. We should always remind ourselves what we are grateful for. And I think it's such a powerful practice that should really just be a part of your day. 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day, that's it, right? Make it a routine. When I look at my journal, I realized I accomplished a lot of the things that I wrote down and it's so humbling and beautiful to see that you wrote it down and then you made it happen or to see like, oh, I was really worried there and everything worked out. So today I'm worried about something else. And if I look here and if it worked out here, it's most likely going to work out again here. And it's just good to have that to have that growth documented, you understand? So you don't know in hindsight, everything is going to be all right. Um, yeah, let me know how you like to journal. Let's journal together, hop in the Discord group. Maybe we'll create like a 21 day journaling challenge where we all do it together. And then we talk about, you know, how we feel after, I don't know, maybe we'll get that going in the Discord. Description, I mean, description. Link in the description and uh, I'll see you next time.